everybody, Crystal Beaudry here with Crystal's Clean Kitchen. So the holidays are fast approaching. Thanksgiving is almost upon us and we always make pie for Thanksgiving. So in fact, last year I did a pumpkin pie and a French silk pie that turned out amazing. I will make sure to link those down below. And in our next video, we are going to be making a pecan pie. All of them are sugar-free, grain-free, um, all the freeze, keto approved, and they taste amazing. So in this, I, I really wanted to do just a regular pie crust though, because there's so many different kinds of pies that are out there and you can use this pie crust for any of them. It's super simple to do. Like I said, it's sugar-free and grain-free. And you know what? It tastes better than a white flour regular pie crust. I'm not joking you. It, I bring this pie, you know, these pies to different places. And when people taste the crust, they're like, this is really good. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, and it's grain-free and sugar-free. You can't even tell that it is like a keto-approved pie crust, but it is, and you're gonna love it. Would you also do me a huge favor and hit that like button? Okay, let's get into it. Here's all of our ingredients we're gonna be using. We're gonna start with our almond flour, two and a half cups of some almond flour. We'll be doing a fourth of a teaspoon of some salt. For our butter, we'll be doing a fourth of a cup of some grass-fed butter. For our sweetener, we're doing a fourth of a cup of some aluos. Now, I had to get this stuff from Amazon just because I have not had very good luck finding it at the grocery store. Um, a half a teaspoon of some vanilla and one egg. Not very many ingredients and it's super easy to so do. So I started with my two and a half cups of some almond flour in the bowl already. I'm gonna be adding in my fourth of a teaspoon of some salt. And I'm gonna be adding in my fourth of a cup of some aluos. Then we're going to be adding in, we'll mix this together for a second here. I was, I was going to do this in my Ninja Chopper, but unfortunately it didn't all fit in there. So I was like, oh, well, I guess I'll have to do it in this instead. Okay, so you add your butter in first. We're going to beat it just a little bit, kind of get it separated and into some chunks here. Then we're gonna add in our egg. I better stop it so I don't get any chunks in there. Here we go. You can also add in a half a teaspoon of vanilla. And mix it together. Now, as you can see, it's kind of starting to be like a crumble, not necessarily like you would see in a muffin. It's, it's more of a crumble mixture. There you go. So I have my pie dish right here. I cut a little parchment paper to go on the bottom. I cut it just a little bit up the edges, but not completely covering the edges. Before I put it in though, I'm going to take some butter and do the edges that are not going to be touched with the pie, with, with the parchment paper. Just because trying to get off <laughs> pie crust when it is stuck is super annoying. So I'm gonna make sure to cover that really, really well. Okay, so I have it buttered. I'm gonna put the parchment paper in there. The butter is going to help the sides stick a little bit just so that we have some extra coverage right there. All right, you're gonna dump your pie crust into here. Now I've started preheating the oven to 350 degrees and um, we, when we cook this, we are going to be cooking it for about six minutes. Now, if the time that you cook it is different depending upon what kind of filling you're going to do. Now, you need to stick around because after this, we are going to be making a pecan pie. Um, you know, Thanksgiving is coming and pecan pie is such a good pie to have on hand. I'm just gonna be filling in the sides here. Now on my channel also, I have some pumpkin pie and I also have oh, the most delicious chocolate mousse pie. Um, it's so, so good. So I will make sure to link those at the bottom of this video too because they're just so delicious. You guys are gonna love them no matter what pie is your favorite. Okay, so as you can see, I'm just forming this it, it's, this dough is really easy to work with. It just, you know, if you need to take a part from one place, you can just stick it into the next place. 
then you can make it as thin as you want or as thick as you want. And then you can also do the edges however you would like if you want to flute them or if you want to just leave them straight, whatever you would like is up to you. I think I probably will flute them a little bit um, just because I love how that looks. So if you are wanting to flute the edges, this is what I do. I just take my finger and I kind of go like this and make, um, make the shape of it like that. But this dough, like I said, is just so easy to work with. So if you need to reform it at all, it's very, very simple. All right, now that was it. Here is what a picture of the pie looks like. It turned out amazing. Now, obviously I can't do a taste test because we are going to be taking this pie and using it for making a pecan pie. So you'll definitely want to stay tuned for that because it is so good and it's sugar-free, keto approved, what's not to love. You guys are going to love that one too. Well, thank you so much for watching this recipe. Don't forget to let me know in the comment what your favorite pie is or what you're gonna be using this pie crust for because I would love to hear from you. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, and stay tuned for some more great recipes. We'll see you next time.